In the realm of tech giants, few tales are as riveting as the rise and fall of Didi Chuxing. From its humble beginnings, Didi soared to the top of China's ride-hailing market, fueled by ambitious innovation and a keen understanding of its local landscape. However, just as Didi seemed poised to conquer the global stage, a series of scandals sent shockwaves through its operations, shaking investor trust and sending its market value plummeting. The story takes a dark turn, with horrifying incidents tied to Didi's carpooling service, Hitch, bringing the company's safety measures under intense scrutiny. Compounding these woes were grave accusations of data privacy violations that led to regulatory crackdowns and cybersecurity investigations. This captivating saga offers a cautionary tale of how a company's missteps in data privacy, safety protocols, and regulatory compliance can shatter public trust and bring even the most formidable tech giants to their knees. Didi Chusheng's rise was nothing short of remarkable, showcasing the power of technology and innovation in an era fueled by the shared economy and technology-driven services. Founded in 2012 by Cheng Wei, a former Alibaba executive, Didi wasn't merely a startup but a transformative vision to revolutionize urban transportation. Wei's creation aimed to transform the traditional taxi industry, and with its launch, it rapidly gained prominence in the Chinese tech landscape. Operating as a platform, it connected millions of commuters with drivers, disrupting the conventional taxi industry. However, it wasn't a mere ride-hailing app. It was a full-service transportation platform, offering a variety of services including carpooling, luxury rides, bike sharing, and bus services. Didi's quick ascension wasn't without competition, though. In 2013, a similar ride-hailing app, Kuwaiti Dashe, was launched, sparking a fierce, cash-burning rivalry. This intense competition eventually culminated in a merger in 2015. 15, birthing the current iteration of Didi Chosheng. Post-merger, Didi Chosheng solidified its dominance in China's ride-hailing market, even prompting Uber, the global ride-hailing behemoth, to sell its China operations to Didi in 2016 after a costly two-year battle. This victory underlined Didi's deep understanding of the local market and its ability to fine-tune its algorithms to the intricate urban layout and consumer behavior unique to Chinese cities. Another key to Didi's success was its strategic innovation and consistent technology upgrades. Based on profound insights into Chinese society's needs, Didi continuously added new features to improve its service delivery and cater to a broad spectrum of consumer needs. One such instance was the option to book rides for others, an innovation mindful of the elderly population that may not be tech-savvy. Funding played a critical role in Didi's rise, too. It attracted substantial investments from tech giants such as Apple, Alibaba, and Tencent, culminating in a valuation of $62 billion by 2020. The zenith of Didi's success story came in June 2021, when the company went public on the New York Stock Exchange, raising $4.4 billion in one of the largest U.S. initial public offerings by a Chinese company. This marked the apex of Didi's journey, a triumph that was soon followed by a series of events tarnishing its image. Didi Chusheng's initial public offering on the New York Stock Exchange was a moment of triumph, but the celebration was short-lived. Only two days after its NYSE debut, the Cyberspace Administration of China launched a cybersecurity investigation into Didi, accusing the company of illegally collecting and misusing personal data. Following the allegations, Chinese authorities ordered app stores to delist Didi due to serious legal and regulatory violations regarding regarding the misuse of personal data. This not only prevented new user registrations, but also raised concerns among existing users. The repercussions were quick and severe. Didi was penalized with a record fine exceeding $1 billion, and its shares plummeted, wiping off billions from its market value. The troubles didn't stop with the data breach. Beneath the surface lurked a more serious scandal concerning the safety of its passengers. The Chinese tech giant's rapid ascent was overshadowed by shocking incidents of violence, including two high-profile murder cases involving DD passengers in 2018. This triggered widespread public outrage and demands for more stringent safety measures. 
DD's response was to suspend and overhaul its carpooling service, Hitch, promising to prioritize safety. But the damage to its reputation was already inflicted, shaking user confidence and negatively impacting its market performance. The cybersecurity scandal signaled the onset of a broader crackdown on Chinese tech giants, with Beijing keen on exerting control over data held by these corporations. As a result, Didi faced demands to restructure its data handling methods, stretching its resources and straining its operations. In a dramatic reversal of fortune, Didi announced in December 2021, just six months post-IPO, that it would delist from the New York Stock Exchange. This move reflected the depth of the crisis engulfing the company. Didi's downfall had severe repercussions. It lost a significant chunk of its market value as share prices tumbled, its user base and driver partnerships declined, and its uncontested dominance in the Chinese ride-hailing market was considerably weakened. Didi Chusheng's already tarnished reputation faced yet another blow when revelations emerged about the horrifying incidents involving its ride-sharing service Hitch. This service, initially hailed as an innovative carpooling feature, came under scrutiny when two passengers were murdered by their drivers in separate incidents in 2018. The drivers and passengers of Hitch were allowed to leave reviews based on appearances, leading to criticism of encouraging objectification and harassment. Public outcry intensified upon learning that Didi had received a complaint about one of the murderers but failed to act swiftly. Although Didi suspended the hitch service and publicly admitted to its shortcomings in customer service and safety protocols, the public's trust was already severely damaged. The events brought to light a troubling reality. In its pursuit of rapid growth and market dominance, Didi had overlooked fundamental aspects of customer safety and data privacy. The dual crisis of cybersecurity breaches and the safety scandal significantly denied Didi's market position and public image. Meanwhile, Didi found itself at the center of another major controversy involving regulatory compliance and data security. Shortly after its high-profile IPO on the New York Stock Exchange in 2021, Chinese regulators initiated a cybersecurity investigation into the company over illegal collection and misuse of personal data. Chinese authorities ordered app stores to delist Didi, citing severe legal and regulatory violations concerning personal data misuse. The ensuing crackdown was part of China's broader efforts to assert control over the vast data accumulated by tech giants, with Didi's removal from app stores drastically impacting its growth plans and user base. This regulatory blow sent Didi's stock prices tumbling, causing significant losses for investors and raising questions about Didi's governance and respect for data protection laws. As it struggled with these crises, Didi was advised by Chinese regulators to postpone its IPO and conduct a thorough self-examination of its network security. However, Didi proceeded with its listing, leading to a stricter regulatory crackdown. In addition to these challenges, Didi faced international scrutiny over data-related issues. In 2020, Australian authorities fined the company for not disclosing a 2019 data breach that affected over a million users and drivers. This event further underscored Didi's repeated negligence regarding data security. Moreover, Didi found itself under antitrust investigations in China, with allegations of using its market dominance to squeeze out smaller competitors. These controversies marked a series of missteps for Didi, including safety oversights, data security negligence, and defiance of regulatory directives. Each crisis took a significant significant toll on Didi's reputation, user trust, and market position, leading to a steep decline in its fortunes. The company now faces a challenging path to recovery, serving as a stern reminder to tech firms of the importance of user safety, data security, and regulatory compliance. The DD story is a sobering reminder to tech companies worldwide about the perils of ignoring cybersecurity and user safety in the race for growth. The rise and scandalous fall of DD underline the importance of balancing technological innovation with ethical considerations and regulatory compliance. DD's journey offers lessons to innovators, regulators, and users alike. For innovators, it underscores the need for a holistic approach that incorporates user safety 
and data privacy from the outset. For regulators, it highlights the importance of active oversight in the ever-evolving tech landscape. And for users, it serves as a reminder to be vigilant about their data and personal safety when using digital platforms. The DD saga is far from over, and as the company tries to navigate its way forward amidst regulatory fines, public scrutiny, and a battered reputation, one thing is clear. The road to redemption will be a long and challenging one. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.